Hi, I'm John Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look inside the Macintosh, specifically in this episode about the Macintosh towers of this type of vintage. This came with uh, two different types of processors. Uh, this started with a G5 processor and then moved to Intel, and they have slightly different configurations inside. So we'll take a look at both of those in this series. First thing you need to know on these is how to get in. So to get into these towers, there's a lever on the back. You flip it up and it opens up the side panel, so you can just slide the side panel right out. Now depending on the tower that you have, you'll see two different types of things. On this one we have a G5 inside, and it also has a plastic panel in here which we can also take out. This is designed to keep the thermals separate inside, so that each zone is separate. The newer Intel towers don't actually have this plastic shield, so you don't need to worry about it. Now if you're looking for the RAM, it's located in two different places depending on which version of the tower you have. On the G5 towers, the RAM was located in behind this fan and was attached directly to the motherboard. On the Intel machines, the RAM is attached to these daughter boards and comes out several sticks at a time when you pull out the daughter board. For hard drives, the old G5 towers accommodated two different drives and they were located up here at the top. The Intel towers accommodate up to four hard drives and each of them is attached via a sled that can be removed by pulling it out. Both the G5 and the Intel towers have expansion card slots at the back, and this is where the video cards live. There are PCI Express card slots on both of them, and you can get access to them in slightly different ways on the two. We'll get into that in an upcoming episode. On both the G5 and the Intel towers, the CPU is located behind a panel, which you don't have easy access to. On this one, it's located behind the big panel that says G5. On the Intel towers, it's located behind this other panel here. Both the G5 and the Intel towers also have optical drives, that is CD or DVD, and those are located at the top of the front panel of the machine. And you can actually remove them if you so desire. It's again not as easy as the other things, but you can do it. Anyways, that's an overview of the Macintosh towers. Don't forget to take a look at the other parts in the series where we'll take a look at how to swap some of these parts out, as well as taking a look at the iMac. 